how are you? Um, Roy, what is, I suppose, following on from that uh, quarterfinal, that brilliant quarterfinal win over Exeter? I mean, is the, I know you had the defeat, obviously, to Munster last weekend, but having gone away, having conceded two tries um, in the opening quarter of an hour and having come back, what is the confidence like going into this away semi-final now? Um, yeah, we're, we're very confident. We we're happy with how we played. Um, I suppose for 70 minutes of the uh, quarter final, like, um, obviously it wasn't ideal giving them the 14 point head start. Um, but yeah, we chipped away at it and yeah, we've gotten great confidence um, from that now. And yeah, uh, look, we're really looking forward to going over there and hopefully do a job. And uh, yeah, today training was very intense. It was. It was up there, you know, it was a semi-final week. Um, so, yeah, we're really looking forward to it now. What is the different challenge that La Rochelle will, will bring to you? They've got some super players throughout the team. Um, a lot of big physical men, if you look at their pack uh, alone. Got some man mountains in there in terms of Will Skelton, Uni Antonio. Um, so it's going to be about managing them and uh, making sure we do a job on them. Yep. How are you? Yeah, not bad. Um, do you get to watch a lot of top fourteen when you have a bit of downtime, or do you generally do you, do you get or do you really get a chance to watch other leagues um, when you're not playing? Um, not not too often, to be honest. Um, I suppose obviously we have our video on teams that we're playing, and we get to watch those games, and we're looking more at I suppose the analytical side of things when we watch those games. Um, but in terms of as a casual fan watching uh, on the weekend, we don't get to watch too many too many other games though. Okay, and just one more for me. Um, just in terms of the weekend, what learnings would you have taken from that? Um, just I suppose just uh, the importance of winning the physical battles really, um, and then just the importance of our breakdown and making sure we can be really clean, really accurate there. And they're probably for me the two big takeaways from that game. Sorry, I think you're muted, sir. Hi, Ron. Thank you. Um, Robin was talking about the, the unique Leinster training dynamic with four sets of front row locked and loaded when you're on the uh, on the training paddock. Um, you you burst onto the scene scoring tries as a hooker. And now there's an even bigger hooker, you know, scoring tries coming up behind you in in, in Dan Sheehan. What what's that like for you? It's good, yeah. Uh, obviously, it's incredibly competitive position. Um, when you look at myself, JT, Nugget, um, Shino, like we're all, it's very competitive. Um, and yeah, we have a great relationship. All four of us, all I suppose myself and Shino, will be constantly getting, picking the lads' brains and getting their experience and their information. And yeah, the lads are very helpful in that regard as well. Always willing to help um, and then yeah what he was saying there about the four front rows ready to go it's really added um, a competitive element to our scrums in particular and um, like the scrum sessions have been very competitive um, over the last I suppose over the last year or two and um, it's been like it's been very good uh, to have that competitive streak in there if you had a choice between a French, English, Scottish, or Welsh front row, which which would you prefer to, to meet? Um, to be fair, they all have their different challenges. Uh, on the weekend, we know how, I suppose, how heavy and how big the La Rochelle pack are. Um, but we have little, I suppose, technical stuff that we can work on to make sure we can deal with that. And I suppose... The bigger the team are, it just means we have to be really accurate in our drill and really technically proficient, I suppose. Good luck on Sunday, yeah. Thank you very much. Hi, Ronan. Um, Hi, I'm just wondering, there, in relation to um, La Rochelle and their, they have uh, you know, big powerful forwards and that, uh, and also when you're playing a top 14 team, um, is there, is there a different mindset against playing a, a 
French team as distinct say from playing someone like Munster last week? Um, there's, I suppose, there's elements that are different, and um, we we picked those up during the week in terms of uh, doing our analysis on our opponent, but. There's also a fair bit that is similar um, to what happened in that Munster game and how we have to deal with that. Um, so we've talked about that in-house and what we need to do and we've talked uh, what tactical changes we need to make um, for the weekend. Okay, and um, just looking at your own performances lately, um, you do a fair bit of carrying and um, you're fairly mobile around the uh, pitch and that... Uh, is that something you train hard at? Yeah, um, I suppose it's kind of how the training sessions are set up, really. Um, the coaches do a great job of allowing us to really work on our skills in the session. Um, and, yeah, it's something that we all really do on a daily basis, really. Um, it, like, it's, not, it's not, not something that I've gone away on my own and particularly tried to work hard at it individually, but I suppose it's... We're kind of, we kind of work at it generally in training week, uh, day in, day out, just the way the sessions are set up. Okay, thanks. Good luck and good luck. Time for one more. Uh, hi, Brian. How are things? How are you? Yeah, all good. All good. Um, obviously, one of the things that Robin mentioned was that the ball in play time is, is so much higher for La Rochelle. How important is it to assert the game plan that you guys want to play early on? Because obviously you don't want to be doing all the extra running. Yeah, um, it's vital, yeah. Um, we It's vital that we get our detail right and we make sure we implement our game plan on them. Uh, I suppose where that comes in it would probably be the accuracy um, that we can provide at set piece time, both scrum and line it. And if we can do our jobs there, we can really impose our game plan on them. Um, but I think it all starts there um, at the set piece.